Right, morning. I'm uh, just going to turn some of these pots here. They've had, uh, I threw them yesterday and they've had black slip put on them. I'm just going to turn the feet on them and then we'll do some uh, white slip and then some brushwork. Show you how we do that. Turn the bulk of it off with a large turning tool. This was a round one, but I've squashed it so you get better angles. I've left quite a thick base in this when I threw them because I wanted a nice tall a nice tall foot ring it's been still quite damp here so I've been using a dehumidifier overnight just leave it on on a, I'll put it underneath the shelves where the pots are and um, seems to be working quite well one around this corner off here. <laughs> Burn it with a finger. These are going to sit on somebody's table so if it's a polished table you don't want the gritty clay which is quite gritty. You don't want it to damage the table too much so I'll just use my finger to round it and uh, smooth it up, burnish it. First one, sits nice. Okay uh, what I've got here is some porcelain slip and it's got uh, some china clay in it to stop it from shrinking too much. I've had a bit of problems with it shearing off a little bit, but uh, put some china clay in it and hopefully that'll work. Here's one of the tea balls I've just done. One of the, yeah, one of the, the Unomis I've just done. Um, I'm just going to use a hacky brush. Just check we can see what we're doing here. I'm not... Uh, And it's just a question of this black uh, clay underneath will um, show through where it where it's thin. That's that one done. Let's do another one. Oops. Get some quite nice overlaps on it. be a bit as direct as possible really. No matter if you leave little tiny pieces like that, it's a bit more character to the to the pot. And then the brushwork that goes on. 
I'll show you how to do that when these dry, but that's what it's going to look like. Okay. These are slightly, these new ones are slightly bigger ones. Uh, right, everybody. Um, what I've got here is a uh, is my palette. <laughs> it's um, red uh, red clay, red iron. Underneath the red clay, there's some manganese dioxide, and here's cobalt oxide for the blue. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use. These are the brushes I use. Quite tiny, really. There's tiny brush, tiny brush strokes uh, for a variety of different sizes. Going up to fairly big ones for big pieces, but uh, just use the little ones for this. So I'm going to try and keep all this in in shot for you. I've got I'm filming from quite a height. <laughs> I've got a mirror involved, so I'm going to try and do this best we can. Right, first thing I put on for these um, for these parts is uh, is a, a red iron oxide, which gives you a, a sort of a darker red. And we'll just bend it over a little bit at the top. You can see that. Another one. Bend it over at the top. Okay, new brush. This is the uh, red iron. The red iron oxide. Uh, red clay and manganese, which gives a black, a black leaf or a really dark brown leaf. So it's just a question of press on and flick. Press on and flick. Oops. And at the top here we do two small ones. And one big leaf at the end. Okay, we'll do the next one. And just oops, too much on there. Let's press on and flick. do this at this level so and there you are and then finally what we do is with the cobalt blue which is very very strong it's very strong just small highlight dots there Underneath and the next one. I quite like this design because it's got sort of like a broken a broken leaf, broken stem at the top, which is a bit sort of bit more informal really. So we just place two little blue dots at the bottom. And that's that. And I'll just show you one that's finished. Yeah. This is where some of the um, some of the white clay sheared off. Well, this is a defunct one, but that's the that's what that's what that's the resulting design there. You can see it. This one doesn't have the blue on it. It's just got iron on it. But I put blue on afterwards. But this is the only one I've got left here because all the others have got have been sold. So that one's. Uh, I use that one to clean my brushes I think. Okay, so um, there we have it. Uh, how to use the black and white slip and uh, a bit of brushwork. Well that's how I do it anyway. See you next time.